Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And this is the first in the series of our Lake District set, um, which we're starting now. And we've got not one, not two, not three, but four videos to come on different sites in the Lake District. And then we'll be doing some more later in the season. And tonight we're staying at Castle Rig Hall which is just outside of Keswick. So let's take a look around. So we're heading westbound on the A66 towards Keswick and we're taking the A591 turn off into Keswick and then we, when we come to the end of this road we take a left hand turn here and then we head up the bank. We're now going to take a right hand turn which is signposted towards Castlerigg Hall. past the Heights Hotel on the right and then it's our next turning on the right into Castlerigg Hall. The reception's just on the left hand side where you can check in. So we've arrived at Castlerigg Hall campsite in Keswick. And let's take a quick look around. Castle Rig Hall campsite. So as you can see uh, just behind me there uh, we've got the uh, van pitched on one of the service pitches. Uh, this one's E2 if you're interested. Let's go and take a look around the site. Firstly let's start by taking a look at the view from the pitch. Personally this is my type of view looking right across at the hills and Dermont water and then just across to the recreation area on the site here. So the recreation area is in the centre of the site. Um, one thing to note is you're not allowed to exercise your dog on the recreation area. It purely is for recreational activities. There's some more touring areas towards the bottom end of the site and you can just see the hills and mountains and a little glints of Dermont water. The site's a mixture of touring pitches, statics and pods. You can see some of them coming round now. The site's arranged predominantly into terraces which have been levelled which are handy for pitching on. The facilities block just up from the pitch and there's a pot washing area, chemical emptying point, ladies and then gents. There's also an accessible toilet and the gents is just round the back of the facilities block. There's two facilities blocks on the site. This is the one just behind our pitch. Get a good view of the pitch and the uh, van just from the uh, level above there. Nicely landscaped. And over the other side of the recreational area. And then just moving across from there, there's another facilities block and a camping field. Just take a very quick look in the facilities block now which gives you a bit of a view of the standard of the facilities there which were excellent and very clean. And then move over into the main complex block and there are um, just inside of there there's uh, an area with some um, settees and some books and things where you can go in and uh, read and relax. And there's also a separate area which has um, some toasters, microwaves, that sort of thing, and cooking facilities. You can see Roxy and I heading back across uh, just along the side of the recreational area from the facilities block there. Is the reception, the shop, and the way in.
So there's two campsites. There's Castlerigg Hall, which is this one, and Castlerigg Farm, which is 50 yards down the road and just up that way. And we've got the Heights Hotel, uh, which is fully vegetarian and vegan friendly with evening meals and it's open to residents and non-residents. Got the crag bar. Then back along to the entrance. Now we're just going to have a wander along just past where the shop is, just heading in the direction to the gallery. Just along from the site is Castlery Gallery, where you can get uh, a drink, ice cream, cakes and gifts and that sort of thing. There's a lovely view from the outdoor seating area as well if the weather's nice. On the way back along to the site from the gallery, there's an interesting eco beehive that we saw. There's some outdoor seating area just near the shop and there's also a trailer which serves up uh, various hot meals on an evening. Now just going to have a wander into uh, Keswick down the footpath. You uh, come out the site, take a left and then you can take the public footpath down here through the woods into Keswick. Uh, there's just a lay-by next to it and just note there's a no overnight parking sign there. The path makes its way through the middle of the campsite but it's closed off from the campsite. It always used to be open uh, many many years ago so you could get out the back but now you head down this track through the middle of the campsite uh, following taking the gate. So let's press on. The path heads down the hill uh, towards the Keswick direction uphill on the way back. If you take the path through the woods that heads over this bridge, there we go, Roxy lead the way. As we come over the bridge you'll see the track veers this way and that takes you to Walla Crag and the Castle Rig Stone Circle but we're going to head down this way on our way into Keswick Town. Get to the bottom of the hill we go through this gate and we head past Annie's Pantry. We now head down this track and you can see Keswick coming into view just in the distance there. Just before we reach the end of the road there's a public footpath there to Castle Head and Lake Road uh, we're going to carry on straight on, but just for reference, it's handy there. There's also one up to Hall Mead as well, just in the other direction. When we get to the end of the road, we make a left-hand turn. If you head in the direction of the church spire, you're heading towards the town. We're just going to head down Eskin Street now, towards the town centre. If you keep heading along the street, you come out at Fitz Park, which is a nice park here and runs up to the old railway line where you can take a walk along from there. There's the war memorial just on the corner of Fitz Park as well and a nice flower bed and you're heading towards the shops just down that direction straight ahead there. If you head down the side alley here you can go to the Pack Horse Court shopping centre. Taking a quick look in the Pack Horse shopping centre uh, you're probably conscious that nothing's open yet because we're here a little bit early. It's uh, just after half seven in the morning. For reference, it's taken about half an hour to get down from the campsite to the centre here. We'll head back out now onto the main square where they're setting up the market for the day. It's Thursday and it's market day on a Thursday in Keswick. I believe there's also a weekend one as well, but worth checking out. Another look from this direction. we we'll spin round a little bit. There's even a Keswick craft beer shop, so that's where to come if you're after some beer when you're in Keswick. Just going to head now down towards in the direction of the lake and we pass the Dog and Gun pub. See the other side of the Dog and Gun there. The lake road in and then various shops and outlets in Keswick. Take a right here at the Wainwright and then head past George Fisher down towards the park. At the bottom here we're going to now head under the subway uh, which is just here and that takes us through to the park. 
if you're taking a walk down to the lake, there's the Cafe Hope on the way down. And then we're just gonna follow the route through the park and down the lake. And this is just by the remote control boat, little lake there where you can use remote control boats. That was a favorite of mine when I was a young lad. I used to come here. There's various golfing. There's um, 18 putt golf. And there's also crazy golf just down here. So this takes us into the heart of Hope Park. And here's Max the Miracle Dog, where they're collecting donations for the upkeep of the park. So I'm just coming out of Hope Park now. Let's take a quick glance back there. And you come out at the road near the lake. There's a car park here. Um, just for reference, just give you a quick view around that. We're just heading up now and coming up to where the theatre by the lake is. Uh, something fairly popular in this area for people to come and uh, watch theatre. So here's the theatre by the lake in Keswick. Get down to the lake, there's Crow Park and that's a nice place if you want to go and have a picnic. There's a footpath runs across from here but you get some nice views across the fells from there especially in the sun. Just at the other side of the theatre there's a couple of cafes and look back up where we've come from down the road and then let's head down to the lakeside. So here we are at the lakeside let's just take a look around you can get uh, one of the launches from here with for a tour around the lake uh, they run on most days and really nice pleasant trip around so highly recommended if you happen to be in Keswick. If you head along this way you come to Friars Crag which is a nice point that overlooks the lake just down this way. It's a really nice uh, view worth a look so let's go and see. There's a number of other routes from this point here you can head towards uh, Strandshang Bay and Calf Close Bay but we're going to head right towards Friars Crag. There's some seats if you want to take a break on your way around Friars Crag. Let's just go to the end now and take a look. The stroll down to Friars Crag's rewarded with a lovely view of the lake at the end. Just have a quick look around the end of Friars Crag there. Let's take a final look around just before we head off back in the direction of Keswick. So we head back towards Keswick, we're going to take the walk along the lakeside uh, just past here and uh, let Roxy have a little bit of a paddle before we uh, head back into Keswick town. So there we go, there was our walk along to Friars Crag and now we're going to head back into the town after we've just taken a quick look around the lake here before we head back we're just on the shore side a look at the launch and around the bay there we go and we'll head back up now the market was in the process of being set up in the center of keswick at this point but let's just take a very quick look around it gives you an idea of uh, the sort of thing in uh, Keswick it does extend further down we just had a quick look around uh, it's just your typical shops you'd find uh, your things walking gear and uh, a array of shops pubs and things like that so that finishes the tour of Keswick and now we're gonna head back up to the campsite So there we go, there's a look around the campsite, a uh, look around Keswick and a look around things in the surrounding area. Now we were here about uh, probably about 10-15 years ago, probably about the 15 to 10 years uh, time span, we've been quite a few times so conscious things have changed uh, a little bit. The view hasn't, um, you know it's a, a glorious view out the back and uh, we're very fortunate enough to get a pitch with a lovely view so um, if anyone's interested we're on E2 so um, that's the view you get from E2 uh, we'll pop a couple of snaps on because it's probably not quite in focus while we're talking on this so anyway Rachel what did you think of 
Castlerigg Hall campsite. You know, we were searching for the five out of five. I think this is going to come pretty goddamn close, to be fair. Um, since we were last here, there's been a great deal of investment in the site. There's a new toilet block, there's lots of um, pods around, there's a new coffee shop. Um, there's views, as you can see, are just stunning and spectacular. Um, beautiful. I, I, I can't say anything else, but just absolutely stunningly beautiful. And I don't want to give it a five so early in the season, but I'm going to give it 4.99. What about you, David? Yes, it's it's a lovely site. I, I'm actually when uh, after after five minutes here, I wish we were here for a few days, but we're just here for the one uh, one night. So um, yeah, I I think it's uh, definitely uh, as close to five as as you can get it. It's it's, uh, it's an absolutely gorgeous site, especially in this weather as well. So the the views are outstanding. Uh, not too far away from Keswick. It is a reasonable walk as you'd have seen, but uh, it's uh, you can you can always get a taxi um, into Keswick if, if you didn't want to walk it. Or or better still, get one back um, and walk, walk in, down. and then you're walking downhill. So um, yes, absolutely lovely sight, and we'd definitely be back here. So I agree with Rachel. It's a notch off a five. It's as close as you can get to a five. Um, thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next site next week we'll be on the next site in our Lake District series catch you next time thank you bye bye bye, -bye.